Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGarGar.com. In this video, we will look at how you can validate the entry of email addresses in your worksheets. So I've got a column A here where some email addresses are being entered, and I want to ensure that people actually input these email addresses. Now I can't guarantee it's the right email address, but there's certain things I can look out for to follow you know, a typical email structure. And then things are that I want to ensure that the at symbol is used, a full stop is used, and also I want to ensure there's no spaces. I want it to pass that criteria for somebody to be able to enter it, as each of them criteria is found in your kind of standard email address, or not found in the case of the space. So to do this, I'm first of all going to select the whole of column A. So I want to validate any entries in column A. I'm then going for the data tab and for data validation. <coughs> and we're going to set up a validation rule in here. So I'm going to set up custom. So it asks us what type of data you want to allow. Because we need to write a formula. For me to check that the at symbol is present a full stop is present and there are no spaces present I need a formula I have three conditions there so we're going to use the AND function so that I can test three conditions so I'm going to choose custom so that it prompts me to write in this formula so I'm going to go for equals and, and an opening bracket if you're not familiar with this function uh, check it out at computercargart.com or any other good website for information but what the end function does is it's a logical function its job is to test multiple criteria in our case three bits of criteria and to ensure that all of them are met all of them are true so at the moment it's asking for the first criteria and we want to provide it by ensuring the at symbol is present so I'm going to use the find function once again, check out some more information if you have not heard of that one before or you have not used it. But a find function will look for a particular character within a piece of text and return its position. So I'm going to put find and I'm going to ask it to look for the at symbol. Let's point out in speech marks because it's a text character. And I'm going to put a comma, I'm going to ask it to look for it in A1. So I'm referencing the first cell in the range I selected. That will look in each individual cell. Don't let the fact that I only typed A1 put you off. It will check every cell in column A. You enter there the first cell of the range you selected. In my case is A1. If I selected A2 to A8, I'll be putting A2 in there. Okay, close in bracket and then a comma to move on to our second criteria. For the AND function, where I'm going to put another FIND function, which now is going to look for a full stop. Also, in cell A1, close in bracket. So make sure there's an AT symbol in there. Also make sure there's a full stop in there. Comma. Next up, I'm going to use FIND to look for a space. But this time, I want to make sure that a space is not there. So I'm going to use another function here. I'm going to use a function called isError because if the find function looks for a space and cannot find it, it will come back with an error message and this isError function will convert that to true. Say so yes, there was an error message, yes, there were no spaces. So is there an error in find looking for a space in A1? Close in bracket for the find function closing bracket for the is error function and then another closing bracket for the and function is that is a third and final condition there now I'm going to pop to the error alert tab to provide an error message uh, for any users who may struggle with this so it tells me it currently evaluates to an error message which email addresses is written at the top there that heading so yeah carry on I don't mind about that as a heading and I'm going to create this error alert. I'll put a title of error and a nice tailored message 
uh, saying you have not entered a valid email address. Please ensure there are no spaces and it contains an at symbol and full stop. So nice and descriptive. Let's click OK and test it out. So if I was going to type Alan uh, at Outlook, spell Outlook wrong there, space.com, it will not allow it because of that space. And there's that error alert. You could ever put Alan.com, does not allow it. Uh, there's no at symbol in it. And finally, Alan at Outlook underscore com. Not happy, there's no full stop in there. And if I put Alan at Outlook.com, so now it doesn't, <laughs> another typo, doesn't have any spaces, does have an at symbol and a full stop. It's valid, it's okay, it allows it in. So this has been looking at validating email addresses, ensuring that certain criteria is met to as best we can, ensure that you know people signing up for something or, or you've just been entered in here have used valid email addresses. Hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergaga.com.